Salut, ici Coco de SortieJazzNights.com et puis je suis en compagnie de M. Danilo Perez, récipiendaire d'un Grammy. Il est pianiste de grande influence avec son jazz panaméricain. Il se produit aujourd'hui au sein du groupe Wayne Shorter. Il est ce soir en spectacle avec deux de ses collègues de ce groupe ici au Festival de jazz de Montréal. Hi, Danilo. How are you? Very happy to be here. Thank nice. you for coming. Really happy to be here. It's Montreal feels like home. Yes. And, you know, so many wonderful creative nights that we have had here over uh -huh. the years. Yes, you've been here a few times already. Yes. Mm. So that's nice. So I'd like to talk about uh, your uh, latest project, which is uh, Panama 500. It's an ambitious project. It's a beautiful uh, album. I, I really enjoyed it, and by you. the way. You. And you're bringing uh, culture and dimension in uh, your jazz, I see. And uh, you bring us on a journey with uh, great music. And uh, again, you're uh, giving us history through your jazz, which is very nice. So you mentioned three-dimension music. So what does that mean? Well, the fundamental thing of three-dimensional three music, I always refer to classical, Latin, and jazz. Okay. The, that's the fundamental. The other fundamental of three-dimension music is the idea of having, if like tonight, for example, or the yes. quartet with Wayne, having four people play together in a constant dialogue. Okay, yes. And everybody may be playing in a slow tempo, the other one may be playing a faster tempo, the other one may be playing just sounds, mm -hmm. like all these dimensions. Okay. And they all make, they all make sense all, together. Yes, 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 I And by, by itself too. So in this new project, Panam uh, 500, you brought along uh, your longtime uh, acolytes, which are uh, John Pat Patitucci and the drummer Brian Blade. But alongside, uh, you brought in also uh, the young violinist uh, Alex uh, Hartgreaves and uh, Roman Diaz. So how do you get the chemistry flowing between these guys? Well, you know, the, the trios I use, which was John Paritucci and Brian Blade. Yes. That's with Wayne, we have created a language. Exactly, yes. Ben Street, Adam Cruz, that's another trio I've been working for years, so we have another language. Uh -huh. We have taken the Latin American sounds and we improvise with it, mixed with jazz. Mm -hmm. Alex Hargrave is coming in as the, I'm exposing the uh, sounds that Europe borrow that we yes. borrow from Europe. Okay. And I am putting the character on this plot that I put called Panama 500 regarding the rediscovery of the Pacific Ocean. Yes. Alex brings the European part of that. Part of that. Yes. And how our own music, our folkloric music also is in depth with the European classical music. Mm -hmm. We have able to translate it in a very very unique ways, but we have it. And Roman Diaz and uh, Boccato, which is the percussionist, yes. they bring that great Brazilian and Afro-Cuban influence, the Africa heritage in our music. Uh -huh. um, so right there you see, you see you have it's a trio, piano, bass and drums, so, uh, flirting with the <laughs> violinist with the yes. cellos yes, and this percussionist, the Cuban and uh -huh. the Panamanian and Brazilian. Yes, and then you have the Aboriginal uh, influence in there also. Exactly. Yeah. You could almost recall this, you know, this is also part of the human path connection that, uh, that I work on it. Uh, we have a museum called the Museum of Biodiversity mm -hmm. and I have to write the music for that. Oh, so there's okay. a connection for all of this with me. Okay, okay, you that's know, nice. I had to 
you know, when I had to create the human path, I put the violin as the colonial, oui, colonialism oui. influence, uh, the percussion, the influence of the slave, and like that, just uh -huh. telling a story through music. Yes, basically. it's beautiful. Thank Very you. Very beautiful. So inspiration to write comes from everything, uh, everyday life, or uh, do you have a musical process when you do that? This specifically was Panama. Panama is such a big inspiration for me. Okay. So many events I went through from the 1989 invasion uh, of the United States. I decided to perform. That was that made a that made a huge impact on me. Performing, okay. yes. performing while while they're bombing. <laughs> and I wrote a piece called Panama, Free Panama. Uh -huh. uh, Panama 2000, when the Panama Canal was given back to us. Yes. I, a lot of my music is, uh, is the film scoring of the history and the way I see my country and how mm -hmm. proud I am to yes. have been born in that place. A beautiful country. My family too. My, my daughters, my my son, he's such a big influence of in my writing, my wife, my mother, father, and humanity, you know. Yes. Maybe today something will come out. You know, I'm always paying attention to the people talking, the sounds, the contrapoint, and I'm getting ideas, mm -hmm. you know. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> yes. Many hats. We're just talking about your family, this and that. You have to juggle that. But in your everyday life, you serve as a UNESCO's uh, artist for uh, peace, uh -huh. artistic director of the Berkeley Global Jazz Institute, and artistic director of the Panama Jazz Festival. Mm -hmm. You are a humanist, like we were saying just before, and you're very uh, involved. So, how did you get into that? What happened that you? Well, see, the basic for me is my father, I mean the family, including my mother. You know, my yes. father, uh, the way he, he they, they, first of all, they were both educators. Okay. So the way that, that he approached music mm -hmm. was using music as a, as a tool to, uh, for the, to teach subjects, Convey. matters, like Convey, mathematics, yes. geography, mm -hmm. learn to talk. I mean, my father kind of taught me to use music uh, as a lens the, to, to view the world, yes. basically. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and I, I um, throughout my whole life I went there, I saw him such a giver, you know, and working with music to help people. And, and that was in my background. I grew up, I grew up, nice. yeah, I grew up not music being separate, but music being inclusive. Yes. Community, bringing people together creating dialogue. Then my training with the great masters like Dizzy Gillespie, like having mm -hmm. having people from different cultures. Yes. He was from a big Brazil, influence on Big you. influence on me yes. as, as far as creating, yeah. creating platform through music oui. for dialogue. Mm -hmm. You see? Um, and so that's been my, uh, my, my ultimate joy comes from understanding how music can be used as a power to, to heal and as a power for, to help society. And That's I have committed nice. from teaching, from creating a festival, creating a foundation, from um, 
uh, creating the, 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 the Berkeley Global Jazz Institute, mm -hmm. which, where I believe we, are create, we have created a laboratory that is dealing with a very progressive vision of education to prepare the artists of the new millennium. Mm -hmm. See, yes. <laughs> in, in, our, in our life right now, we're coming to a, a very critical moment. How do we use music to, to help yes. and to create resistance? Mm -hmm. Music has all the values, all the, the antidotes, mm -hmm. the vaccine yes. to bring people together, to bring more peace, to help people to learn. Yeah, to heal. To heal yes. the power of music. Mm -hmm. And that's really what I'm really, really resonating. I, I, that's what, that's what, what you're brings, all about. Yes, that's what I love doing. And, mm -hmm. I love to be around um, that kind of energy where we're all doing basically music therapy at the end of the day. Is okay. what do you listen in your iPod or when you travel? You, you want to know what I'm listening yes. to? Yes. Right now I'm listening actually to my daughters that <laughs> sent me, they, they, they wrote a song. My okay. oldest daughter wrote a song to me and she said, I just need one more day, don't leave me again. <laughs> She killed me. She wrote this piece for the... Uh, she made you cry the, before you left. For the Father's Day. And I'm going... I'm, I'm coming from Dublin. And I'm Wait. almost about to miss the connection in an earlier fly. And I'm, I have my iPod. It's, it sounds like one of those Tom Hanks movies or something. <laughs> I have my iPod. I'm listening to my daughter. And I'm just walking to the airport. Oh, running. And she's like, give me one more oh, day. Yeah. Don't leave. <laughs> Uh, and apart from that, uh, apart from that, uh, you know, um, you know, there's a pianist from Italy I love. I always have me in my iPod. It's uh, uh, Michelangelo. Okay. Um, um, monk always. There's always. I mean, there's, there's so much, there's so much of, of his music I love. Right now, I'm also listening to a lot about power. Okay. I, I just happen to put it in my a lot of African music. I like West African okay, music. Okay, so you don't stick only to a pianist. You like to uh, diverse your. Uh... Yeah, no anymore. I want to be surprised by sounds. Like I don't yeah. even want to know sometimes what is it. It's uh -huh. just like exactly yes. You know, I want to see if I can create that beginning. You know, the first mm -hmm. experience when you didn't know who it was. It was like <laughs> and and be not get into a routine. Mm -hmm. Definitely, I'm always yes working to not Routine's be a, a killer. Routine. Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, Monsieur Danilo Perez, thank you very much. I'm wishing you a nice time here at the Jazz Festival and uh, see you around. Thank you. Merci beaucoup. Pleasure.